up, everybody? How's it going? Happy Sunday! What is up? What is up? What is up? I am Erica Michelle Best, your mentor at Ignition Switch, igniting you to be the best you. And today I want to talk about, well, how do you know which one is the right one? Or how do you know when it's right? Or whatever I put in the title. <laughs> it's Sunday. It's been all out shenanigans and mayhem around the Best Fam Shenanigans household. Um, and I just want to hop on here with you guys super quickly um, to chat about a couple of things. So hopefully a couple of you guys will hop on. Do me a favor as you are hopping on. Please feel free to say hello in the comments below. Um, as you all know, did I do this right? <laughs> There we go. Okay. As you all know, sometimes Facebook does not always like act right for me personally. So as you're hopping on, just put hello down in the comments below. Let me know what you were up to. If you were tuning in live, drop live in the comments below. Just to let you know, um, if you're ever wondering if you're live, if you see a red uh, live button up there, you're watching me live. If you're catching the replay, just drop hashtag replay. Love connecting with my replay viewers and hope y'all are ready to uh, talk about it tonight. So what is up? Hey, Erin, what's going on, girl? How are you doing? What is up? What is up? What is up? I love, love, love your stamp books, girl. They were so super cute. You did a great job. You did a great job. Um, I'm going to need you to do some for me, okay? I'm just saying. I love it. I love it. You did a good job. Um, so anyway, so we're going to talk about it. I won't be on here long tonight um, because I'm actually like tired and ready to go to bed for once at nine o'clock at night. And I'm like good with that. I'm totally freaking good with that um, because usually I'm like so fired up and excited about the week and all that other kind of stuff that sometimes it's hard for me to kind of clear my mind and go to bed. And tonight I'm actually ready to just go lay it down and go to bed, okay? Um, so I won't be on here long. What are y'all doing? What is up with y'all? How was your weekend? Y'all chatted up with me in the comments below. Um, and I just want to talk about it. Like, how do you know when it's right, right? It's a, it's a, it's a I mean, it's a perfectly good question. It's, it's a legitimate question, okay? And I'm going to talk about it um, and what it was for me personally um, and how you two can decide for yourself. So what in the heck am I talking about? I am talking about when you want to make a decision or move for yourself. Um, and I just want to share with you guys why I'm at where I'm at. Hey, Renee, what's up? I see you hopping on. Hey, Anita, how's it going? Um, and I just want to share with you guys why I am at where I'm at and why I stay so fired up and why I'm so freaking excited um, and all of the things. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with, um, this is not yo mama's MLM. Okay. That's what I'm going to start this with. This is not your mama's MLM. Y'all, there is a reason why people make the moves, changes, shifts, jukes, and jives that they do. And I get asked all the time. People ask me all the time, Erica, why did you leave CBD? Like CBD is booming and banging. What is up, Dana? How are you doing? Uh, CBD is booming and banging and all the things. And they're like, why did you leave CBD? Um, and it's a legitimate question. It really is. But I'm going to tell you why. What prompted me to leave where I was at? Hey, Dania, what is going on? What prompted me to leave where I was at? Okay. And I'm going to share that with you guys because it's a question I get asked all the time, y'all, all the time. People are always asking me like, what happened? And I'm like, well, nothing really happened, but sometimes you got to make a move. When you see something and you realize what you have in the palm of your hands, you have to make a move. Um, first and foremost, you've got to go with something that you're passionate about. Y'all all know weight loss and wellness is my jam. Like, would you agree? Would you agree? Just put agree in the comments below. That is like my legitimate jam, just health, wellness, weight loss and all of those things. And while CBD is fantastic, do not get me wrong, um, it is great, um, but that just wasn't my passion. It wasn't my home and that's okay, right? I'm gonna tell y'all why. I'm gonna tell you what I found, okay? And why I say it's not your mama's MLM, okay? What? No, no, baby, I love you. I'll be up in a minute. Oh Lord, y'all know Nala got a drop in here, little wheelchair diva. Um, first of all, where I went to, the company is only a little over a year old. So ground floor opportunity. Hey Kathy, what's going on? Um, thank you so much, Renee. I appreciate it. Ground floor opportunity. Do you know how often people always say, man, if I would have got in at the beginning? Um, people say that all the time. Um, so the company is less, is, is a little over a year old and it is the fastest growing company in the industry, okay? Above the CBD company that I was just with. The CBD company I was just with, the number two, hey Jessica, what's going on, uh, is number two. We are the fastest growing company in network marketing. You can check that out in Social Selling uh, News Magazine. Um, it's a simple system that offers instant gratifications to our customers. Like, do you know how many times you, you have something, people, we are in an instant gratification world. People like want, like they want to know what they have signed up for, what they have invested their hard earned money for. They wanna know that it's working. They wanna know right away that it's working. And unfortunately, we are in an instant gratification world where if it takes time, people feel like it doesn't work. We are. With this, you feel benefits from day one. Hey Celeste, what's going on? You feel benefits from day one. So it's an instant gratification product, which y'all, when you have in an opportunity, when you have an instant gratification product, that equals customer retention. And when you have customer retention, customer retention is huge 
in our profession. When you have customer retention, you have residual income, okay? When you can provide something to your customers that they love from day one and they want to come back for more, you, it, you create customer retention for yourself. You're providing a service to your customers. They're excited about it. They're reaping the benefits from it and they're gonna keep coming back for more because, it's what it, because of what it's doing for them, okay? Um, yes, Renee, exactly, right? Right, right, right. Um, so, and, and, and that is really the big reason why customers keep coming back because they, they can feel it from day one. They don't have to wait months. They don't have to wait weeks. They don't have to wait years. They don't have to wait any amount of time to see if this is something that like, wham, just slaps me in the face, right? Um, that's huge, it's huge, it's huge. Um, we have huge people, huge people. Um, I'm talking the face of network marketing, um, co-founders and founders of other companies um, in the industry joining our corporate team. I'm talking like huge, y'all, like seriously, um, joining our corporate team. And that speaks volumes, okay? It speaks volumes to what you have your hands on, all right? We have done 1 million in sales or about 1 million in sales in this one freaking instant gratifying product, okay? In less than a, in, in a little over a year, right? Um, without doing any parties, without cold messaging, without giving discounts, without any of that kind of stuff, just literally providing a quality product to people that they love and can benefit from and know that what they're investing their money in is worth it for them, okay? Um, we have no charting. Y'all, I came from a company where I charted and nothing against a company who has a charting system. Hey, April, what's going on? Nothing against a company that has a charting system, but y'all, me personally, I got sick of trying to fill boxes. In fact, I got sick of looking at people like they were just a name I could put in a box, okay? It felt icky. Um, and it just, it just, it was just no longer working. It didn't work, if you know what I'm saying, okay? Um, no charting. You can actually achieve success by yourself without a team. You do not have to have a team. A lot of people are shied away from network marketing because they feel like they have to build a massive team. You don't have to do that. You literally can achieve success in your business without building um, a massive team or without building a team with your own customer base. So if you are really good at helping customers get good quality products in their life, you can find success with what it is that we do here. And y'all, that is huge too, because some people just do not want to build a team. They don't. And I love being able to give that option to them. Um, monthly, we get monthly lifestyle bonuses, monthly global bonuses, and annual family vacations. So one of the things that I love about here is they have, the culture here is about family. Okay, they value family and include your family. So when you as a leader in this company win a trip, they send you and your whole family. And I don't mean just, oh, okay, they can chill in the hotel with you. They pay for their airfare. They pay for their food. They set up childcare for some of them. Like y'all, like the family culture here is just amazing, which for me as a mom of three is huge because I hate, I would hate to win a trip and then I couldn't bring my family with me or have to pay thousands of dollars to bring my family with me, um, which that would be okay, whatever, we're going on a family vacation. But at the same time, when you have a company that is offering that to your family, y'all, that is the major benefit, okay? To send your whole family on a vacation somewhere, y'all, that's huge. That is really, really huge. And I don't know that under, I don't know that people really can grasp um, how unique that is because not a lot of companies do that, okay? Not a lot of companies do that at all. Um, the we get uh, bonuses on uh, different kits and stuff like that, infinity deep. So you're not cut off. I know, right, Renee? Family first always. That's their motto, right? Um, so you're not cut off after a certain point or if you get to a certain rank or if you are achieving a certain whatever. Like it's infinity deep. So you can earn, um, you know, bonuses on, you know, certain kits and, and stuff like that. Like it just keeps going. I mean, it just keeps going, okay? And that's just a, a pay increase for you, right? And I'm just sharing with you guys, for those of y'all that are just hopping on, um, I am just talking a little bit, I know April, it's massive. I'm just talking a little bit about how you know when an opportunity is right for you because I get asked all the time, um, why did I leave CBD when CBD is booming, banging, and the biggest thing since sliced bread right now, why would I leave CBD to join coffee, the second most consumed beverage in the entire universe, right? And I'm just sharing a little bit about why and some of the things that you can look for if you're trying to get uh, introduced into network marketing or if you're somewhere where you're not satisfied or happy or maybe you failed at your last business or, you know, maybe, you know, it just wasn't a good fit for you or whatever it is, what to look for moving forward to find a place and a home and something that can fit you and some of the benefits that you can get that's out there, okay? And so that's just a little bit about what I'm sharing tonight. 
Um, and so, I, you know, I said I wasn't going to be on here long. I'm just pumping this out real quick um, because I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, and it would take a lot for, you know, in your mind, you're thinking like, oh, CBD is the way to go. CBD is the way to go and all these things. And it's like, yes, to a degree. But if that's not what you're feeling, if that's not your vibe, if, you, if that's not your tribe, if that's not what is making you happy and filling your soul, then it could be the most amazing thing in the entire world. But if it's not for you, it's not for you. And that is okay. There's nothing wrong with that um, at all by any means. And for me, I just found it wasn't for me. Okay. Um, and this is why. This, all, this is why. Like, seriously, this is why. Um, anyway, again, it's a ground floor opportunity. So there is like literally only about 10,000 affiliates. Um, we just launched in Canada. Um, so we're looking at going global. Um, that is also really huge. I get so many people from the UK, from Ireland, from all over that are messaging me like, where can I get this coffee? Like, is it here yet? And it's like, no, well, in some of those places it is, um, but not all of them. And it's like, we're working on it. So the company hasn't even gone global yet and is about to go global. Like that is just huge, right? They're working on it. That is just absolutely huge. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, such a great consumable product that really works. Absolutely. Instant gratification product. It's amazing. Um, and then a comp plan that is set up to rank up quickly and help those just starting out. So it doesn't matter if you've never done network marketing before. It doesn't matter if you are a, um, a veteran in the profession. Anybody can come in. Y'all, duplication is huge. And a lot of people in network marketing have no clue what duplication is. I've literally asked this of people before who have tried to like recruit me um, to their company or whatever. And I've, I've asked, what is your duplication process? And they're like, what is that? I'm like, that lets me know right there you don't have a duplication process. If you cannot take a stay at home mom who has never done network marketing before and bring her into your business and show her how to succeed, you don't have duplication. Okay. If you were spending thousands and hundreds of dollars on paid ad, that's not duplicatable because not everybody has hundreds and thousands of dollars for paid ads. If you cannot help somebody else go and freaking wrap their car up and do all this fancy stuff and all that, that's not duplication because the average person cannot come in and do that exact same thing that you did to get to success. Duplication is huge. Okay. And the way that this is all set up and the way the comp plan is set up, it doesn't matter if you're a person who wants to make an extra 500 to a thousand dollars a month, or if you want to go to the top of the company and bring home, uh, five, six figures, um, monthly or annually. Okay. It can help anybody in between, right? Um, it's set up to help anybody in between. You don't have to be a mass recruiter to make money. You don't have to be a mass customer gatherer to make money. You don't have to do like these mass big exploding things to earn income. You can earn income no matter where you are in your business. Okay. Trust me when I say timing is important. Timing is important in an opportunity no matter what it is that you are doing. Timing is absolutely important. If you would have got into CBD two years ago, you'd probably be a multimillionaire just like the owners of one of the CBD companies that I was with, okay? She's the number one network marketer ever, but she started it two, week, two years ago. Um, just like that, Timing is everything and timing is also a time is of the essence. It really is. So if you're wondering, okay, where is that opportunity where I can find myself fit in, um, you know, live my passion, help other people, all of those things. You might want to take a look at this happy smart coffee business. That's all I'm saying. Um, because timing is everything. The product, the type of product that you stand behind is important. Simplicity is absolutely important. And this is all, these are all the reasons why all the reasons why, um, the masses are winning over here and I'm talking from and you don't have to spend a lot of money you don't have to spend a lot of money you do not have to spend hundreds of dollars monthly to maintain your rank you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars monthly to earn a certain percentage of commission you don't have to spend a certain amount of money every month to tap into certain bonuses you don't have to do any of that and I love when somebody is struggling in life and they're looking to earn extra income being able to tell them with this upfront investment, this is what you can do. And if you don't want to, you never have to spend another dime. Because if you're already struggling, right? You're already living paycheck to paycheck. You're looking for something to help generate income from you. And then you have to turn around and place a monthly order so astronomical that you're having to put it on credit cards. That's not, in my opinion, an idea of, a comp plan that's good for you for you for that type of situation specifically so that is like legitimately why I came to happy smart coffee that is legitimately why I left CBD behind that is all the reasons why I am so stinking happy so stinking proud so stinking honored 
and just all of those things because I know where I'm at. I can coach somebody else if they can follow the steps, follow the coaching and do what is being taught. I can help them find success. And that is my ultimate goal with anybody in an opportunity. And any of my team members can tell you that my number one priority in any business is making sure my team is winning. Because if my team is not winning, this is no good for me. It doesn't matter where I'm at in the ranks. If I can't teach somebody else to do the same thing and change their life, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. And so that is why, y'all, Lord Jesus, I need to get this hair redone. Next week can't come fast enough, okay? Um, I finally make money, make more money than I spend. Hallelujah, Renee. Can we just do a little, ah? I mean, like, seriously, that's what I'm saying. I mean, how, well, we're not going to go there. We're not, we'll talk about that in Messenger. Um, I mean, literally, it was people were spending more money than they were making. They, they, it was another bill. It became another freaking bill. Right? Would you agree? Um, and I understand this complaint. It's so simple. It's so simple. It's so simple. Help customers earn income. Do this. You get a bonus. Do this. You earn a vacation. Do this. You get some incentives. Do this. You have fun. Do this. Your customers are happy. I mean, can I just get a hashtag do this in the comments below? <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is great. Have a great night. Thank you so much, April. I really appreciate it. Um, but that's why, that's why, that's why. And I'm so happy and I don't regret any decision I've made in network marketing. Network marketing has done so freaking much for me. It has helped me meet some incredible people and I don't regret any decision at any moment, uh, at any moment, at any moment. I don't, at every single opportunity, I learned something uniquely different that I needed in my life. So I don't regret for a minute, not even a second, any choice that I made in network marketing, not a one, okay? Was it, were there times where it was a struggle? Absolutely, were there times where it was hard? Absolutely, were there times where I realized I needed to get the heck on up out of there? Absolutely, um, and that was it. But I learned something in every single one of those that was so valuable and so needed and I was able to take that um, and apply it towards something else and really stepping into my truth and everything. Like, I don't know if y'all have even been able to tell, like just drop a yes in the comments below that I feel more of myself. Do y'all feel like I'm sharing more of like just who I am? I mean, I know I was always an open book, but I feel like more of myself now. I feel like I'm living in my truth. I feel like I'm stepping in the steps that I'm supposed to. And that is the type of opportunity that I want to be able to offer people um, so that they can do that. What I'm doing right now is not for everybody. It's not. If you don't have a passion and health, wellness and weight loss and all of those things and helping people feel good and look good and achieve all those goals, this may not be the opportunity for you. It may not be at all. And I'm OK with that. I am totally 100 percent OK with that because there's nothing more important than you feeling the way I do and being able to live in your truth and feel so much of yourself and you don't even care you don't even care. Like, I don't even care if somebody disagrees with me. Like, because it's okay. Because that means it's not for them. Never, ever, ever let somebody else's lack of vision darken your purpose. And I feel so freaking freed and so much like myself um, that I'm just having a good time. I am just absolutely 100% having a good time. So, if that is, if any of that, Sounds like something you can get down with, my friend. You just go ahead and drop I'm in in the comments below or shoot me a message over in Messenger. Either one, um, we can talk a little bit more about it and you can see if this is something that you want to do for yourself. But those right there, those right there are the reasons why I'm where I'm at. I'm loving where I'm at. And there's not anything anybody can do to convince me otherwise that I know I'm exactly exactly where I should be. So that's what I've got for you guys this evening. I know I rambled through a lot of that. Um, this has given you your shot. I agree. Oh, can we get one of those again? Can we just get one of those again? Um, I do. I feel like I shine every day. I feel like I, even on my worst day, which we've had a couple this last week, y'all, it's been rough this last week. I'm not going to even lie. I started to go live on Friday to tell y'all what all I went through on Thursday night. You know what? I might do that right now. Y'all want to hear about it? Y'all want to hear a little mom life? Y'all want to just drop yes in the comments below if you want to hear a little mom life shenanigans for me. Or, or with me, if you want to hear a little mom life shenanigans and I can tell you what happened, because it was bad. Renee saw the pictures. It was, it was bad. It was bad, y'all. Do y'all want to hear a little mom life? Pure happiness. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you so much. Y'all want to hear a little bit? Jessica, I'm, I'm, I'm considering telling them about what happened the other night at like one o'clock in the morning. Y'all think I should, y'all think I should share or do y'all think I should save that for another live? I'll wait. Comments are always delayed. They're always delayed. It takes forever for comments to pop up for me, y'all. Like, forever. Like, it's like torture. Like, I'm sitting here waiting, and it's like torture. 
Hey, do y'all like my shirt, Jessica Baby? And they can't, she can and she will. I cut it up, of course, but. Kathy says, sure. Y'all, mom life shenanigans. Jessica, you think I should tell them, girl? Mom life shenanigans went down in the best household the other day. It was bad. I was on the phone with Jessica, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and Luca, as y'all all know, Luca is potty training, right? Well, he had drank like two full bottles of water before he went to bed. And even though I made him go potty like three times before he went to bed, his bladder still was not empty. So he like had an accident in my bed, right? No big deal, whatever. He's three. It happens. He's potty training. Okay. I mean, he's potty trained, but he's going to have accidents. He's only three. So anyway, so I'm going to go upstairs to go get him a change of clothes um, you know, to get him cleaned up and you know, all that other kind of stuff. And when I walked upstairs, y'all, okay. A little bit of backstory, a little bit of backstory. The night before I had just cleaned up the entire upstairs because everything was a mess. And I went through and cleaned it up. Nala's ribs were hurting. Nala's ribs are hurting and everything. So I'm like, this is ridiculous. You know, doing the mom thing while you're cleaning and picking up all the stuff and you're like fussing the whole time. You know what I'm saying? You're like, this is ridiculous. Like, why is this stuff all over the place? I'm throwing away everything. You know how you get that mom moment? This is the only business that I have willingly worked while up with a screaming baby at 3 a.m. <laughs> I know the feeling, Dania, because it's exciting. Anyway, and so I'm like, you know, doing all that. And this was just the night before. This was just the night before. So Luca, like, goes potty. I'm going upstairs to go get him a change of clothes and all that kind of stuff, right? And I walk upstairs and literally from the top of the stairs to all of the rooms, all of the bathrooms, everything, there's a mess all over the place. I'm talking toys spread out all over the place trash water bottles like i mean just everything all over the place all, all over the place and i'm on the phone with jessica and i'm like jessica and she's like erica she's talking to me in that like the southern mama she's like erica just leave it just go to bed just go to bed erica it'll be there in the morning it'll be there in the morning get you a good night's rest and just go to bed i mean you know she's trying to talk me off the ledge y'all she's trying to talk me off the ledge and i'm like sitting there like do y'all feel me right now are y'all following the story are y'all following the story so I'm on the phone and I'm just like, girl, I am livid. I want to use all of my mommy words. And by mommy words, I mean curse words. I want to use all of them. Every last one of them right now. Because y'all have been trying not to curse. I've been trying to fix my mouth. Jesus has been working on me about my mouth. You know, like I'm trying to get away from the whole I love Jesus, but I cuss a little. I've been trying to work on my mouth, right? And I'm like, I just want to say all the words. Anyway, and so I, and each room I'm going to, I'm getting madder and madder. Because each room I'm going to, I'm realizing how much more destroyed it is. And then I just cleaned up this room the other night. Y'all, have y'all been through this before? Like y'all, am I alone? Am I alone? Am I alone? That mom coffee. I know, right, Jessica? <laughs> Tell me I am not alone, y'all, please. Okay? So anyway, so I am just getting more and more livid. And I'm like, I'm getting ready to wake them up. Jessica's like, Erica, don't wake them up. I'm like, I, if I'm cleaning at one in the morning, they're all cleaning at one in the morning. She's like, don't wake them up. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Get a good night's rest. It'll all be there in the morning. Like, it's, it's fine. She goes, I've learned that just, you know, sometimes it's just better just to leave the mess and go, go at it with a clear head and just get some, you know, some rest. And I mean, y'all, she was trying real hard. She was being a good friend. Anyway, and so I'm like, no, there's no way I would even be able to sleep knowing the mess that I had to wake up to. So I go into Micah's room. Nala had made a pallet on the floor in his room, and they're like, thank you, Jessica. And they are like, uh, you know, she's there having like a little, you know, uh, sleepover or whatever. So she's got a little pallet in his room. So I go into his room. I mean, there's crap everywhere. There's just stuff everywhere, y'all, everywhere. Anyway, and so I go in there, and I guess he hears me because I'm talking to her. I'm talking to her, telling her everything I'm witnessing. Cause you know, you gotta have a friend with you. So I'm telling her every single thing rolling through bedtime right now with mine. Girl, mine are kind of asleep. I hear noises upstairs, but listen, they're upstairs. So I'm winning at this moment. So anyway, so um, I'm telling her all of the things and I guess it wakes Micah up because I'm not trying to be quiet. I mean, I'm, I'm fussing, I'm fussing. You know, who fusses quietly? I don't, I'm loud normal. So y'all know when I'm mad, I'm loud. Anyway, so Micah wakes up and he looks at me, y'all, Y'all, he shouldn't have looked at me. The moment we made eye contact, I was like, you ought to be ashamed for having your room look like this. This is ridiculous. You know, and I'm like doing all the things and I'm like, this is so disgusting. Like, why? I just cleaned this up. I mean, like literally just like melting. Okay. Like melting. And I'm like, you yeah, like, y'all know what? We are getting ready to clean this house up. So we are all cleaning at like one o'clock in the morning. Like we're all cleaning. I'm like, get this up. And I mean, he's got all his clean clothes that he's supposed to be taking upstairs and putting up y'all. He had them shoved underneath the bed in bins and corners. I'm like, if you can shove it in a bin, you can shove it in the drawer right next to the bin that it goes in. Y'all, y'all. So when I tell you after the week that I have been through with dealing with this shenanigans crew, it has been a little rough. It has been a little rough. 
but still every day I'm able to wake up smiling and wake up excited and wake up happy just to do it all over again because of course the house is a mess all over again just to do it all over again without losing my absolute marbles um, because I'm just so happy I'm like literally just so in my lane in my space in my zone um, and it feels good it absolutely feels good so all of that to tell y'all all of that Okay, I'm back. To tell you all of that, and hopefully with whatever it is that you're doing, you can kind of have that same benefit, that same fire, that same excitement to where you can still, even in the face of adversity, and by adversity, I mean your children, wake up smiling, going for it one more time, and just living in your truth. So that's what I got for you guys this Sunday evening. Thank y'all so much for hopping on. Love you, love you, love you as always. I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, Lord Jesus, fingers crossed, everything works out with a fired up Monday. Um, if you are not in our virtual coach community, y'all, we are having so much fun over there. Um, I was looking at some of the comments earlier. I've got one uh, person who is three pounds down. Another one is four pounds down. Another one is down four inches. Um, y'all, we are having so much fun. It is a free fitness community. It is of no cost to you. It is a free fitness community. We are having a lot of fun. My friend Jessica, she posts videos of her working out. Um, I think it is just so much fun. Um, and so exciting. I'm losing connectivity. Um, it's so much fun and it's so exciting. And if you are not in there, y'all, when you get off of this live, just click that hashtag, your virtual coach. It'll take you right on into the community. You can check it out and come have some fun with us. I'll chat with y'all later. Bye.